Hey gorgeous, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something exciting, something we've been waiting for. The Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And oh boy, Fine. do we have a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Super excited to start playing with it because we've had it for a second and uh, we haven't been able to open it because we wanted to open it on camera. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open it up, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna talk about ordering it, the process of getting it. The shipping. The shipping, doing some swatches, uh, doing an eye look with them, and then a wear test. So today is gonna be a fun video. So if you wanna see everything about the Jawbreaker palette, keep on watching. So, first things first, we're gonna talk about ordering it, and then we're gonna talk about shipping. Take it away. Girl. Sh long story short, if you can, order it from Beautylish, or order it from Morphe, or go to Morphe and buy it, because it took 21 days to get this palette. 15 business days to get this palette. Yeah. And we don't and live anywhere far. As a matter of fact, we live pretty much the next state over. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's like... <laughs> so, I mean, I completely understand that it was launched on, or not even on, but near a holiday. Mm -hmm. It was launched, you know, a couple weeks before Independence Day. So, um, I have a few emails. I got six emails in total from Jeffree Star Cosmetics about the shipping and processing of this palette. Uh, the first one was from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It says Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'll throw up screenshots of all these emails. Mm -hmm. But the first one was from his customer service team. And it was just saying that my order should begin processing within the next two to five business days. And then further down, it says purchases from launches and restocks will take an additional three to five business days. Mm -hmm. But the way it's worded, it says due to the Jawbreaker launch, your order should begin processing within the next two to five days. So they're acknowledging that it's a launch and that it's for Jawbreaker. But then you go further down and it says purchases from launches and restocks will take an additional three to five business days. So for me, it's worded very oddly. It, it's just kind of really confusing. So it's like, does it is it gonna take two to five business days to process or is it gonna take you know 10, up to 10 business days to process? Mm -hmm. I think it's worded that way so you can't really say anything. You know, if it does take 10 business days to get to you or whatever, you know. But then it started getting kind of weird after that. So on June 21st, <laughs> I got an, it started getting a little weird. I got an email from Jeffy Star Cosmetics customer service team on June 21st saying I ordered the palette. I ordered it on launch day. But then June 28th, I get an email from someone named Mark. Mark. <laughs> and it's just some guy named Mark. I'll throw up the screenshot. It has his photo and it's just really odd. Mm -hmm. You click on his portrait. And it says Sam at KillerMerch.com. So it's from Killer Merch, which is Jeffree Star's, you know, merch company. Mm -hmm. But it's just so, it was so odd to me that it was just some random, you know, email. It wasn't from Jeffree Star's cosmetics customer service team. Mm -hmm. And essentially the email says, you know, since it's 4th of July, it's going to take extra time to process. You know, thank you, blah, blah, blah. I'll have the email up so you can kind of read, you know, into it as much as you want. Mm-hmm. And then I got another email on July 3rd, and this one was from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but it was a different email and a different portrait. So it wasn't the same customer service email, it was another email. So at this point, there are three different emails that are contacting me regarding the palette. Uh, so it's not, you know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics official customer service email. Mm -hmm. And this one was reiterating, so it's, this is July 3rd now, and it's saying, you know, due to the 4th of July, we're gonna be you know, the customer service operations are gonna be, you know, suspended for July 4th and July 5th. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I get that. And then it says, you'll start seeing movement on your tracking starting July 5th. That didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't see tracking on July 5th. Um, I didn't see tracking until pretty much a couple days before we got the palette. And um, we got the palette on July 12th is when we ended up getting it. And I ordered it on June 21st. Yeah, and just to be clear, we we don't hate Jeffrey's like products. We actually love Jeffrey's products, but this yeah, was we have a lot of products yeah. from him. Yeah, and this is just talking about the process because obviously, it, like Jeffrey himself isn't out to spite us or out to get us. This has to do a lot with like shipping. Exactly. So this is this is kind it. of it's funny because we have a Morphe 
mm-hmm. in our city. So we could have picked up this palette mm-hmm. at Morphe, but I ordered it because a lot of people don't have access to a Morphe store, mm-hmm. you know, and a lot of people, Beautylish sells out very quickly. So this is just kind of saying, this is what will happen, you know, on launches if you get a Jeffree Star product. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we have a shit ton of Jeffree Star products. Oh yeah. We have, we're a huge fans. We mm-hmm. met him. Yes. I, that video is coming or it's already up. I don't, I'm not sure how this order it's going to go in, mm-hmm. but <laughs> so we, we respect him uh, quite a bit. Okay. So then I get an email on July 8th from the actual Jeffree Star Cosmetics customer service team. And it says your order has begun processing. This is July 8th. So it officially began processing on July 8th. And it says I'll receive my tracking number and track me shipment. And then I got an email on July 12th. So that's the day I got my shipment order and it was out for delivery. So needless to say, this was a process. It's not like it took a month or anything, but it took 21 days, you know, Mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, it threw me off mostly was the different emails. Yeah. It wasn't all from Jeffree Star Cosmetics customer service. Yeah. You know, we got the palette, Mm -hmm. so I'm not going to complain. We haven't opened it yet. Yeah. So we'll see the condition of her. We got her on July 12th and we're filming this on the 15th. Yeah. So. And to be honest, yeah, I don't think we've ever, because we've ordered a lot of stuff from his, I mean, he's an e-commerce brand, mm-hmm. and we didn't have a Morphe store here. For a while. Yeah, yeah. so a lot of the stuff we had to get was online. And I don't think anything we've ever got has ever been broken or damaged. Oh. So, like, we don't expect this to be, but it took so long, so let's see. Let's open her up. All right, so, so we're going to actually crack her open, honey. We're, we have this let's little this, knife. Let's get this bitch open, Shing. okay? Oof. Yes, honey, so we're going to cut her open. I'm excited because neither of us have seen this in person yet. Yet, yeah. Even though we haven't gone to Morphe to see it or mm-hmm. anything. And I really, really wanted to look online at like swatches to think about how it looks too, but I'm like, nope. We've actually, we've honestly seen it, you know, online, like yeah. on Tread Mood and stuff, but we haven't like looked too deep into it. Mm-hmm. So. I don't think I've seen the colors in the palette in like a week or two. I've been trying really hard to not look. See first impressions of how she's packed up here. Uh, I always love Jeffrey's packaging. Oh look, I never uh, the stars Honestly, in the middle have like little sparkles. That's I think cute. yeah, that's cute. Honestly, I love Beautylish's packaging for Jeffrey's products though. I do too because it has all, all those tattoos. tattoos on yeah, but I love this too. Okay. Yes, nice and oh, nice and protected. Lots of padding. Yeah, Oof, I cannot wait. I pull it out. I got my shipping label here at the bottom. She's kind of ripped. <laughs> my, Just a tittle. My delivery, my order date and my product is kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of, it's not, it's kind of ripped. <laughs> so I can't really read it, but. Ooh, that, po- ah, I always love when there's like, Ooh, like a picture, yeah. yeah. Got like a mini little mini breaker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got Jeffrey's campaign. It's really glossy. Such quality paper. And then the mini breaker, picture of the mini breaker on the back. So let's unwrap her. Oof. So you unwrap it, and then it has a little sticker. Mm. It says Jawbreaker. I love right that. Here. Oh, cute. That's a little skew. Probably mm, for processing and shipping and stuff. Oh my god, I'm gonna see it. So excited. We've been waiting. It's got some like pink, pink colored oh, bubble cute. wrap on it. Oh god. Ugh. Yeah. And here we go. We have the Jawbreaker. Oof. Palette. She's weighty, honey. Oh, uh, let's see. She's a little weighty. Ooh, she feels yeah. good. Ooh, look at that. Ugh. Love this unicarton. I know. Me so too. Cute. Uh, me too. All right. It's like raised. It's so cute. I know. Here we go. Oh, sweet Jesus in heaven. Giving me a heart attack. We're gonna yeah, insert swatches and in everything of course, on yeah. both of our arms, cause what's nice is we both have different skin tones. Mm-hmm. He's like a medium skin tone, and I'm a light skin tone. So, mm-hmm. and I've already looked at it on accident. Sorry, <laughs> but here it is. Let me see a person here. Yes, and it is weird. A lot of people have talked about it, and it is weird that there is no like protective film. Because usually there's a film on a lot of his products. So I will Ooh. say I am noticing that you because our camera is so bright you won't be able to see it, but a couple of the shades have some like this one cutie here has some black specks in it. It looks like mm. it's from like a different pigment in here, maybe delicious. It's like the dark color. Mm. And then cone it has some dark spots in it too. It's like it looks like a smudge almost. 
It's like a dark smudge. You see it. Overall, all the shades look like they're in good condition. Ooh, it's the just press a little is bit of... really nice. Yes. But it's so weird. The the cutie one, this like or the cute one, this like green. The black specks in this are like embedded in it. So it's like it's like I like blow on it and it won't it won't come off. Yeah, overall we're very we're super excited. It's a, super, a beautiful excited. like color scheme. Beautiful color so. story. Ah, so many people have said this, but in person this thing is just like even more beautiful. Like that. So vibrant. Yeah. So vibrant. These colors are so vibrant. I cannot wait. Ah. No, I need to I need to sit here and decide what we're gonna looks we're gonna do for it. Oof. So we may have to. So yeah, I think cut. we'll be right back. So yeah. We're gonna decide what we wanna do, we'll and then we'll right start back. our looks. Yes. cut crease canvas and it's in the halo it's like the bright white one mm -hmm. and i already have the uh cut crease canvas and the shade create all over my lid I'm trying a new technique where i cut my brows with it and then just bring it all the way down which is really working nicely so i'm gonna start with the shade delicious which is that deep blue and start to create that shape that blue is so pretty I'm taking a Virgin right now, which is the matte white, kind of setting that halo. I take that shade Wow, that yellow color, Ooh. and just use that to blend out the edges. I'm going in with Licorice, which is like the bright red matte that's up in the upper right hand corner. I stamp that all along my crease. It's fully opaque for me, there's no patchiness or anything in the center of the, the shadow here, which is really nice. Same. Mine are blending together beautifully. I'm gonna go with the shade F-U-C-K to blend out the edges here. These colors really do blend together really nicely. They don't get muddy or look weird, which can really happen with a lot of colors, very pigmented colors. They just turn muddy or disappear. This one, it's... I have two different colors that I'm blending together and they're not turning weird, they're just blending together nicely. It's got those two colors down. I'm gonna cut my crease now. I've been working on this one eye for like 10 minutes. The reds are, they're not hard to blend. They're just a little, since they're like such bright, like vivid pigments, they're taking just a little extra effort to like blend the edges together, but they're still, they're not patchy or they're not, it's not like they're hold, not holding up, but. Just taking a little extra time to blend. So I'm gonna take raspberry, which is a, a darker reddish purple, and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner right here. Not about you, but I haven't had any fallout on my face either. Yeah. No, me neither, yeah. None. Packing on a I lot know. of color. Yeah, I'm like packing it on too, and it's just like not going anywhere. Yeah, and there's kickback in the pan. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but it doesn't like fall from the brush yeah, which onto is, your eyes. Which is natural. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people have qualms about kickback in the pan because they feel like they're losing product, but a little kickback for me is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this like dark raspberry shade isn't gorgeous. There's no patchiness at all with it. I'm so surprised. I'm gonna set the outside of that concealer with some of that blue, the delicious color. All right, I'm also gonna take Cherry Wet now and I'm gonna run it actually underneath my eye. It's a pinkish red. It's a little brighter pink. Apparently it's supposed to um, Kind of match the cherry white liquid lip shade from last summer. Take some setting spray, just wet my brush, which I always do with my trimmer. I'm gonna take that lemon drop color, put that where I cut the crease. Ooh. I'm actually gonna take bubble gum, which is a bright pink. And I'm gonna blend out the underneath part of cherry white here. It went on really nicely. Again, with a pencil brush, 
there was no fallout under my eye at all. And I'm like right underneath my eye here, packing it on, and there's no fallout. That yellow is gorgeous. Ooh, yes, I did. Ooh. I'm gonna take the shimmer cotton candy and put it on the outer portion of my lid. I'll note that cotton candy, it's, it is kind of one of those more crumbly metallic formulas. I think I'm gonna take some of that drawbreaker shade on a wet brush and just put that down the middle. I'm gonna grab that gumdrop color and put that in my inner corner. And I have uh, cotton candy laid down in the middle portion of my eye here. And I will say it's not as metallic as I thought it was gonna be in the pan. It's more of kind of like yeah. a satiny like mm -hmm. finish and, and it looks so it looks so vivid in the pan like it's gonna be like metallic. It's still really pretty, but it's just not as blinding as I thought. So now I'm gonna take the shade Snack. I'm gonna bring that in closer to the inner portion of my eye here, kind of blend these two together. Ooh, got that purple. That I got lilac. that? Yes. You like it? Oh, that's a really nice like lilac. I will say Snack too for me. It's it's not very metallic, it's more of a satin. I'm gonna take the shade Suck underneath my eyes. I'm gonna try to go in with my finger and see maybe if I. Snack will be, oh yeah, it looks like pretty metallic on my finger. And then now I'm gonna go in with Jawbreaker on my inner portion here of my lid. It will say so far for me personally, on a brush, I'm not super in love with the metallics, the ones I've used anyways. Newman Drop worked pretty well. Um, I had to it's kind like of this, finesse it just a little bit, but. It's like this Jawbreaker shade, it's like super gorgeous but it's like, it's not as blinding as I thought it would be. I'm gonna go in with my mascara, use my Urban Decay Subversion, and the new mascara from NYX On The Rise, which I really, really love. And the shape of the wand is really, really nice. All right, so I think my eye is done here. I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Also, my highlighter is Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife. So gorgeous. We're back, got mm -hmm. mascara on. Now we just need a lippy. Mm -hmm. All right, so, what lippy are you gonna use? I'm gonna go in with, from my mini bundle collection that Chris got me for Valentine's. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with Calabasas. I feel like it would complement this really well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going in with the NYX Machinist Lip Lacquer in the shade Steam. I, I love that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. this, it's uh, so opaque. Here, it's like, on. listen to this. Ooh. The other thing with that one, you definitely have to watch your teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because she yeah. tarantulas your teeth. Yeah. She's Oof. very gorgeous, but I feel like I wouldn't use her for everyday wear, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we're back. With our lip shades on. Oof. Look at these. Look at these looks. This is a quick, you know, quick one, too. Uh, this Nothing is just, too complicated here. I'm just heading down to 7-Eleven. Yeah, which we probably will afterwards. <laughs> Real tea. Mm. I love, love, love these colors. The, the, not only the quality, is it, is the quality really good, but the tones and the shades, the tones of the shades are really, really nice. So unique. The metallics to me weren't as blinding as I thought they would be, but they're, they're satin, more like to me satin finishes. Mm -hmm. But um, they're still absolutely gorgeous. The mm -hmm. mattes, I, I'm not joking you when I say I had not a single bit of fallout mm -hmm. on my eyes. I used yeah. nine colors and this chunky or cotton candy shade did not go anywhere i used it on my bottom lashes as well and i used just dark dark color down there and it's just no fallout whatsoever see anything. it's nuts i know same with me yeah there was kickback in the pan a little mm -hmm. bit but like i said like was when you apply it it doesn't fall yeah. like onto your like cheeks or under your eyes also i didn't think i i don't think i said the price but I think the palette itself is 58, but with shipping, I ended up paying 65 bucks for this guy. Yeah. It's his biggest palette to date, so I understand. His formula is awesome. Mm -hmm. So I think it's well worth the price, honestly. Yeah. So I really like it a lot. <sighs> so we're also going to do a little wear test. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back later tonight. Right now it is probably late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 735. Mm -hmm. So, but we'll be back in a few hours to kind of wrap this up and tell you guys how it wore. Yes, ma'am. See you then. It's been officially a little over four hours. We've had this on. And I can say that it hasn't creased on me one bit. 
Boom! Me neither. No, like the shimmers look exactly the same as they did four hours ago. And I think it's about ready for this makeup to get off. Yeah. So what would you time. what would you review the Jawbreaker palette? How would you give her? A plus for the palette. A C for the shipping. <laughs> Sorry, Drew. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching our unboxing and playing with the new ish Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. If you like this video, do all the things. Comment, like, subscribe, share, bell. Do a backflip for us, girl. Post it. We'll watch it. <laughs> and we post videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, this video is going up uh, at a weird time just because we want it to come up, you know, around the time that the palette is actually new. Mm, being restocked. Mm -hmm. But we'll be back next week, Monday, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Stay beautiful. I know you will. Bye. Bye. Bye.